Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk about love hotels in Japan. Now, what are love hotels? It's exactly what it sounds like. A place where people make love. Shinjuku is known as the red light district. And we were curious to see what a love hotel looked like, so we decided to stay in one. Okay. So you click on a screen. Yeah. Then you just get. You click on a screen. Yeah, you get a little paper from here. A little receipt. Hi. So is that? I won't stay this Once you get there, it's very discreet. The person at the front desk has a window that covers most of their face and yours, and it's shaded. So you have to have an exchange at the very bottom where there's like a little hole. And that's where you talk to them. You can check out a room for 30 minutes, which they call rest, or you can stay overnight, which they call stay. Check out the Asa Juju. Asa Juju. Hi, Kono Mama, do so. Hi. Ah, Ashita Haraon. So, Ohia ni kikai ga aru nde, so chira de pay shite. Ah, hi, arigato. We pay at the room. Okay, let's see. A lot of men have been bringing their ladies around. I know. Most of the rooms were sold out. Damn. So how do I pay? Person waiting us with us there? No, but we pay here. It's so nice here. We pay at this machine, I guess. Oh wow! Oh, and it's actually quite comfortable. It's really nice. Okay. She just said, "Please pay now." She did. Yeah. Okay. Did she say pay again? She just said, hurry the fuck up. Okay. What? I can't read it. Is it means cash, yeah. Okay. I mean. So it seems like she's very anxious, you know. I know, she keeps talking. What did she say? Take your change. Oh god, changes come from that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And there's a She says, have a good stay. If we open the bathroom, a robot comes out and gives you hand jobs too. Oh robot hand jobs sounds very bad. Okay, here is some little Living room, uh, bathroom, which feels like someone just took a shower. And here is a little, oh, toilet, oh my god. For like 100 to 180 bucks, you could get a really nice love hotel to stay at. Especially when you're in an expensive city like Tokyo. There's a DVD player. Oh my god, I guess what's Wait, in the... TV. Oh, there's even a TV here. Wait, you said guess what's in the what? Guess what's in the DVD player? Oh. A safety box? What's this? Oh, it has like a water heater and coffee. Do they have sex toys? Tea, a refrigerator. And oh. oh my god, we should have just stayed in a love hotel every night. They have hangers. Uh -huh. Oh my god, they have room service. Is that expensive? And you could get sex toys. It's quite expensive. Well, you do can have get sex toys. Wait, you rent it or you buy it? Rent it is too much. You don't rent a sex toy. That's insane. Oh look, we got one condom. One condom? Well, how are you going to have sex? Yeah, because we at least need two, you know. How do I call the main line? We can change the scene in the, in oh, the room. Let's change it. So oh. look, this is scene one, moody. Scene two, real moody. Scene three, dark as hell. Here, 
I can't see your hoo ha. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, see what? If you have the hugest dick, you choose see what? Yeah. If you like, if it's like when you go that way, like the sm smaller you have, you go that way. It's no. So nice. So this means oyasumi. This says oyasumi, which means to rest. Okay. Now this is tele television. You can mm. change the channels here. This is music. Oh, on. Oh god, this is like sex hotel. Oh my god, I love sex hotel. I love sex hotel. <laughs> So we're having a great time in the hotel, but uh, we just realized we can't really leave. Um, we came in without a key, so I realized we don't have a key to close it. And when we try to exit, it's got us locked in. This. Oh my god. And it says when it's on fire, every door will open and we cannot leave. That doesn't make sense. Why you have a hotel room you cannot leave? So we have to check out at 10? That doesn't make sense. We have just to call them. Yeah. Oh my god. But the phone, the phone just goes beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Wait, we cannot call them too? So what ended up happening was I was able to get a hold of the receptionist by pressing 9. She told me that every time I wanted to leave the room, I had to call and she would unlock the door for me. And every time I came in, I had to go to the front desk and tell them I was back and they would unlock the door for me so that I could get in. It's a good way to keep people out that you don't want in there. All in all, it was a pretty cheap place for me and my friend to stay, right in the heart of Tokyo.